Hey, do you want to see trains run? Do you want to see a lot of trains run? Well, this is the video for you. I bought not one, not two, but seven new SD70 ACEs to go with the one I already have. And we're going to try to run them all at one time on the two by four foot and scale layout. Let's see if we can do it. So obviously the reason why I bought so many was I wanted to buy the full Heritage series that Kato released of this locomotive. So I have, I have a Southern Pacific, the Chicago and Northwestern, Denver and Rio Grande, the Katy, the Western Pacific, the Missouri Pacific, and an actual Union Pacific locomotive as well. Now I already have a BNSF one, but this is actually all not for running on the layout per se. But I bought this for another project, which I'll hopefully do later this year. It's actually sort of going to be an interactive wall display if I can get it to work. But that's going to be a whole new project that's going to be later this year, maybe. So, but, you know, a far off kind of thing. But anyway, I started collecting stuff for that particular project. And, but, you know, I can obviously use these ahead of time, but I have to be careful not to damage them so I don't ruin my future project. But anyway... Let's go ahead and get these all opened up, get them on the layout, and take a closer look at them and see if I can actually run all of them at one time on this layout. So let's try to get these opened up here. So I'm not trying to do a full review of these here. Um, again, I'll have a, a project later this year that I'll kind of go into more detail on these. But let's go ahead and just quickly open these up, take a look at them. Uh, these are... These are all the DC units. I Getting all these in DCC would have been crazy expensive. So they are just the DC only versions. I will likely add decoders to a couple of these, but the rest I will leave as just DC units. So you can see how these come packaged as usual in their jewel cases. These Kata units run really well from what I've seen so far. Um, the detail on them is always impressive they look really good lettering is always uh, super sharp and everything and just very very nice units so anyway let me get all of these opened up So wow, what an amazing sight that is. Seven SD70 ACEs lined up all the Union Pacific Heritage Fleet. I have the regular Union Pacific locomotive here in the front, and then I have the Katy, the Rio Grande, the Missouri Pacific, the Southern Pacific, the Western Pacific, and the Chicago and Northwestern. So now the question is, can I get all of these to run? Now, the initial setup I have for this uh, layout I don't think we'll support it. So we're gonna try to run them all on this old Tech 2 power pack and see if this can put out enough juice to get all of these running. Given my recent history of frying things electronic wise, uh, this is a little bit scary, but we're gonna go ahead and give this a go here and see if we can get these to run. Oh, we're going. Wow, look at that. And 
there we have the Union Pacific, the Katy, the Denver and Rio Grande, the Missouri Pacific, the Southern Pacific, the Western Pacific, and the Chicago and Northwestern, and even the BNSF kind of photobombing things here on the middle level. What an awesome sight. Wow, this is really great. Seven SD70 ACEs running back to back to back to back to back to back on this two by four foot layout, taking the 11 inch curves uh, of the outer loop. Now they do not make it on the eight and a half inch radius curves of a top level. I've tried that, they will derail. Uh, this can't take a curve that sharp. And they can get around the inner loop with a nine and three quarters, but it's a little bit dicey. But the 11 inch radius, they do fine. But this is really awesome to see. I can't tell you how much fun it is to watch all seven of these make the loop at the same time in one big giant consist. Again, they're all DC units, not DCC. I may convert a couple of them to DCC eventually, but for now they will just stay as DC only. They would take a lot more power if they had DCC uh, decoders on them. And, you know, frankly, I just don't want to spend the money on doing seven of them. So but anyway, this is great running this many locomotives at one time on the layout. I wasn't sure if I could do it, but it works. And I'm going to be spending a lot of time watching these go around while I'm working on this layout. I have to be careful again not to damage them. But again, this is going to be a lot of fun just for train watching on this layout and, you know, probably any future layouts that I build as well. So definitely... A lot of fun to have this and really excited that I was able to uh, to do this. And again, you know, I thank all of you for being able to help support this channel. It makes me able to do things like this, show you guys videos like this with, uh, you know, big lash ups of seven large locomotives on a small and scale layout. So again, I appreciate all of your support over the years with this channel. But anyway, I'll just leave you with a little bit more footage of these locomotives going around this layout here. And anyway, that's all for now, and thanks for watching. Bye.